All right, so let's summarize what we've done uh, in this lecture. Uh, as promised, uh, we've looked at, from an analytic combinatorics point of view, uh, a whole range of classic combinatorial classes, uh, from bit strings to derangements to surjections to alignments to set partitions, integers, compositions. In every single one of them, we took a specification immediately to a generating function with the, via the symbolic method, and then immediately to coefficient asymptotics using the meromorphic transfer theorem. Not only that, not only are we able to do these uh, classic combinatorial classes, uh, but also we can do variations, like uh, restrict the bit strings to uh, not contain uh, particular patterns, or generalize uh, derangements where uh, we parameterize the number of cycles that are disallowed. Uh, same with uh, surjections uh, and for compositions, uh, all different types of restrictions uh, and uh, uh, as well as denumerants. Uh, all of those things, again, are the same basic idea of a spec goes to a generating function, goes to coefficient asymptotics immediately. Handling these types of problems without analytic combinatorics, which you can find uh, in the literature, uh, is possible uh, because underlying the calculations there's uh, uh, nothing particularly uh, novel or important uh, to this point. Uh, it's possible but it requires a huge amount of calculation and analytic combinatorics allows us to skip uh, over the top uh, to immediately derive asymptotic results without much calculation. Uh, and that's uh, Im important because the idea of a spec uh, gives us an open-ended way to uh, specify combinatorial classes uh, without having to worry that we may not be able to uh, understand their coefficient asymptotics. Uh, actually, uh, we can for this uh, huge uh, set of combinatorial classes. Uh, so, uh, as promised, uh, I think in this lecture you've seen that our transfer theorem for meromorphic generating functions gives immediate analysis of a large variety of classes. We can just as easily handle variations. And then we have the idea of a schema which unifies the analysis for a whole family of classes, including analysis of parameters. Uh, now, and also, there have been several other schemas developed uh, that are talked about in the text. Uh, so what we have to do next is look at generating functions that are not meromorphic. Uh, and that's going to be the topic of the next two lectures when we get functions with singularities that are not isolated, they're not poles. Uh, and that'll be our topic uh, for the next uh, two lectures.